In this video, I'm going to show you some advanced techniques on how to program your e-collar without actually using the Fox Pro programmer. Now, you wouldn't do this in most cases, but a couple of reasons why you would want to do this this way, it saves a lot of time. For instance, if you happen to have a CS24C and you've got it all programmed with all of your hunts the way you want as far as your fox cast and all your categories set up where everything exactly how you want it you've got all the sounds everything just perfect on that cs24c but you don't want to have to go through and spend hours trying to duplicate that on your new shockwave so what i'm going to do is show in this video how you can simply in just a matter of minutes pull them off of your cs24c and drop them into your new shockwave without having to use the Fox Pro programmer. Also, another thing I'm going to show you in this video is how to clear your favorites list. If you have a favorites list on your TX1000 remote and you've got 20, 30, 40 sounds in there and you just would really like to just be able to clear it and start over, I'm going to show you how you can do that in this video. Some of these techniques will only be able to be done with the units that use the TX1000. The base units, uh, some of the other units, you can do the same thing with. So the first thing you're going to want to do is plug in your base unit to your computer. And what you're going to see then is a screen pop up or a prompt asking you what you want to do. So you're going to want to open the folder so you can view the files. And I'm going to pull that over. Okay, so there's the file folder. This folder right here happens to be everything that's on the hard drive of your Fox Pro unit. You get down here, you can see the categories. Now, for what I'm going to show you in this video, we will not be using the Fox Pro programmer. So what you're going to want to do before you get started doing anything is select all, which is going to select everything in this file, and then you're going to want to copy it, and then you're going to want to go over on your desktop and open a new folder and paste all these into a new folder and then name it whatever you want to name it so you can remember what this file is. This is just copying everything that's on your current hard drive on your unit so that no matter what you do, you've always got this backup copy. There's about three things you can do inside here that can make things go quite a bit quicker and some things that you can't do anywhere else. One of the things that you can do down in here is you can open this up. You can see the categories. So these are all your categories that are on your current base unit. Now, you can change stuff in here, build your own uh, files in here, but I don't recommend doing that. I recommend doing that in the Fox Pro programmer. It's just a lot faster and a lot easier. But that's where all your categories end up. The rest of these are all just your sounds. Now. What you can do in here, which uh, I don't have really set up on here, is the FoxCast. Now, I'm not going to go through and, and show you how to build the FoxCast sequence, uh, hunting sequences, but what I will do is go over and show you how that works. So I've already got them right here. So this is a bunch that I've uh, built that go on my unit. So I can select all those, and they all have to be numbered you know, correctly. And you'll have to go to your manual and see how to do that and build your own hunts. But if you want to do that and then add those hunts to your e-collar, you just select all and you copy this. And then you can minimize that. Or actually, you've got to go back in and i got to get back into This is where your um, actual hard drive is for the Fox Pro. So I can go in here and add these hunting sequences to this list by just pasting those in there like that. And so now that's all my FoxCast sequences that are in there. Now, these don't match what's on this collar right now. So what you have to make sure when you build these sequences, you have to make sure that you've got your sound list and everything exactly how you want it on your unit before you build these sequences. Because once you build these and add all the numbers uh, of your sounds in here, if you change anything on this list, it screws this up. So what I typically do is I build my list, get it all on my e-collar like I want it, and then build the sequences, add those on there, and then anything that's added 
after the fact. Any other sounds that are added after the fact, I make sure they're all added to the bottom of the list and go from the bottom of the list on down. Then it will never affect anything that's on this list. So anyway, there is your Foxcast that's in there uh, on the unit, and that's how you upload the Foxcast sequences, hunting sequences, onto your base unit, onto your e-caller. One of the reasons that I would use the hard drive and work strictly through here instead of the Fox Pro programmer is I've had three or four different people that have ordered Fox Pros and I had them order the same sounds that I have on mine. And then when they get them, they've bought and paid for those, but nothing is in order and they want them in order and all the sequences and all of the sound lists and all of the categories. I'm really anal about my categories. I mean, I think I've probably got six or eight different categories just in my Kayak vocals alone. So if they want their unit set up exactly like mine, I copy the list and then I paste it into a new file so we don't lose the original files. I'll select all and then I'll right click and I'll delete. Now, don't ever do this unless you have backed up everything onto another file folder. So I'll clear this. So what I'm doing here is I'm 100% clearing the hard drive on my on my CS24C. So now it's completely empty. There's nothing on there. So what I'm going to do is show you how to reload everything on my e-caller like you're setting up a buddy's e-caller to be just like yours. So this is the file where I copied and pasted everything off of my CS24 the other day and put it into a new file on my desktop. So when I got ready to reload them, all I had to do was get them off of here. So what I'm going to do is select all, and I'm going to copy, and then I'm going to go back down here to my D drive, which yours might be E or F. I'm not sure what it's going to be. So this is the D drive. This is my Fox Pro CS24C where I just cleared the hard drive. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put paste in there. So this is going to have everything on it now that I had on my original call. It's got all of my sounds are going to be correct like I had them set up. Then my uh, categories are all going to show up correctly. All of my hunting sequences, everything. So I can load this same set up on anybody's e-caller simply by clearing their hard drive and then by dropping this new folder onto the hard drive of their e-caller. And then once you unplug this, you re-sync the TX-1000 and everything syncs up with all the categories, correct everything. And it just takes a matter of maybe four or five minutes to do it this way. You don't have to go through the Fox Pro programmer to do it and redo everything. It's just a fast, quick, easy way to do this. So this will take, because I've got so much stuff on here, it might take a couple minutes to upload everything. So I'll just uh, fast forward this. Okay, this is just about uploaded onto the Fox Pro base unit. So you can see I'm it's copying and uploading 329 items. And it's saving to the D drive, which is the hard drive on my unit. Okay, now it's all on there. It's back how I had it the other day. So these are all my sounds. And then you get down to the very bottom down here. And you're going to see, actually, it's uh, there's my categories. So you come in here and you can see I got female howls, male howls, pup distress, agitated howls, pair yip howls, group howls, male challenges, female challenges, and then just goes on all the way down to what I've got on here. So when I put that on somebody else's unit, if I was to upload all this on someone else's unit, once they sync the remote, it's going to all be on there without having to go through any of the Fox Pro programmer. And then here is all my hunting sequences that are all synced up with the sounds in the correct order and everything that I have on my sound list. So that's just uh, um, an advanced way of doing that. Most people are not going to use this to uh, program their unit, but 
if you want to add a complete list that you've got on an e-collar on somebody else's e-collar, this is the fastest, easiest way to do that. One of the other things you can do is go into your presets. And if you've got a whole bunch of presets in here that you just, it's just cluttered and you just like to change them all and clear this list and start over, I'm going to show you how you can do that right now. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is plug in my TX-1000 remote and turn it on. And when you get, turn it on, you're going to get another prompt asking you what you want to do. So you want to open this file. Okay, so this is the file folder. I'm now plugged into the TX-1000 remote. So this will be the categories, which you don't want to mess with this at all in here uh, for now. I mean, you don't need to. It's just so much easier to work with that in the, in the Fox Pro programmer. This is uh, data. You don't want to mess with that at all. Here's the reason I wanted to open this up and show this to you. This is your favorites list on your remote. So if you've got a bunch of favorites in there and everything's just messed up and you just think, man, I just wish I could clear that thing and just start over, this is how you do it. So if you want to get rid of these, then all you got to do is highlight them all the way down and hit delete. And then go out of the window. It's going to say, do you want to save that? So yes, you want to save that because you want that cleared. So now there is nothing in your preset folder. So the same thing goes here as uh, when you're syncing it originally with a computer. Never unplug this TX-1000 without first going down here and you've got to safely remove the hardware off of your computer. So I'm going to go do that now. Okay, it says it's safe to remove, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Now you can go ahead and turn on your remote and what you're going to see is your first screen. It's going to say favorites and presets. So when you push that, you're going to go to the screen where your favorites are and you're going to now see that that list is completely cleared. One of the reasons I like to clear my favorites list often is because different times of the year during different seasons, I'll use different favorites. So in other words, in the spring, I might have different sounds in there than I would in the fall or even early winter or after the first of the year during breeding season, I'll put different favorites in there. You can also go in there and change your presets whenever you want to for your fox bang or whatever you want for mouse squeaks and that kind of thing. So for me, it's just easy to go in there and clear that out and then just start over. And then what I like to do is I'll, I'll group them. I kind of make little categories within my favorites. So I'll put maybe six or seven uh, coyote vocals in there and then I'll skip. So if I'm on number seven, then I'll skip eight and nine. So there's a two spaces in there and then I'll start with whatever distress sound I want next and then I'll skip a couple um, and go to the next group so that when I'm scrolling through there in the middle of a hunt I can get to what I want to really quick without it being all jammed up and and stacked together so that's just kind of one of the things I like to do on that uh, just makes it easier for me when I'm out in the field well those are just a few things I've learned over the years programming Fox Pro game calls I hope there's something in here that maybe you didn't know that you learned that will make it a little easier for you to program your unit. Please share and like this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now.